Good evening. Welcome to ESPN Sports Center. Zuba Mahenti. I'm Michael Lee's breaking news in this Sunday afternoon. Five time NBA champion, former league MVP Kobe Bryant died earlier this afternoon in Los Angeles in a helicopter crash. News reports are just coming in among multiple victims. Kobe Bryant on that helicopter. In the 1996 NBA drafts, the Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant from Lower yeah. Marion High School. All the places you flew, good things we've been through. Then I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up. Looking All season, I was just waiting and waiting for my opportunity to come. I wanted to prove that I was better than they thought I was. You know, I wanted to prove to myself that I'm better than they think I was. And I was mentally preparing myself and visualizing the moment that would come where, you know, I'm, uh, uh, I lead the Los Angeles Lakers to a victory. Take him some time to get there, but he's up to the challenge and he's up to the test today, Bob. Above it, you know, you're in heaven, you're 
smiling down, watching us while we pray for you. Every day we pray for you, till the day we meet again. In my heart is where I keep it, friend. Memories give me the strength I need to proceed, strength I need to believe. My thoughts big, I just can't define. Wish I could turn back the hands of time. Us in the six, shop for new clothes and kicks. You and me taking flicks, making hits, stages they receive you on. Still can't believe you're gonna give anything to hear half your breath. I know you're still living your life after death. My daughter Natalia and Gianna, thank you guys for all your sacrifice. You know, for all the hours I spent in the gym working and training. And Vanessa, you holding down the family the way that you have. I, I, I can't, there's no way that I can thank you enough for that. So, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And, uh, what can I say? Mamba out. Passion and perseverance. The impossible is possible. Well, I don't know if it's possible. I mean, as basketball players, we're really supposed to shut up and dribble, but I'm glad, I'm glad we do a little bit more than that. Um, thank you, Academy, for this amazing honor. Thank you, John Williams, for such a wonderful piece of music. Thank you, uh, Verizon, for believing in the film. Thank you, Molly Carter. Without you, we wouldn't be here. And to my wife, Vanessa, our daughters, Natalia, Gianna, and Bianca, Tiamo con tutto il mio cuore. You are my inspiration. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. I'm going to do those things over and over. And uh, hopefully it's something that they can apply to other areas as well. Do you think your daughter might want to play in the WNBA? She does for sure. She does? Yeah, I don't know. It's this, this kid. So Wouldn't that be great? Dude, man, I, I'm telling you. Uh, the, best, the, best thing, the best thing that happens is when we go out and fans will come up to me and she can stand next to me. And like, hey, you got to have a boy. You and V got to have a boy, man. You somebody carry on the tradition, the legacy. She's like, oh, yeah. I got this. <laughs> you know, boys, man, I got this. Do we make sense? I think we do. In spite of everything that we so. We are sitting on top of a Mesoamerican muralist painting of a clock. Yeah. I gotta ask, because I feel like the setting is begging for it, what's your relationship with death? A comfortable one. Yeah? It's a comfortable one. It's an it's a understanding. You can't have life without death. You can't have life without the dark. Right, so it's an acceptance of that. When it came time to decide whether or not I should retire, that's really an acceptance of that mortality that all athletes face. Right? If you combat it, You'll have all of that inner struggle within yourself, you know what I mean? And, uh, so it's uh, uncomfortable. You're hearing many personal anecdotes about Kobe Bryant, so here's mine. I met Kobe one time, backstage at an event for ESPN in New York, and I saw him and I thought, oh my gosh, that's Kobe. I gotta get a picture with the gram. Hmm. That's the picture. I didn't get it for a few minutes because as I approached him, he immediately commented on my rather large eight-month pregnant belly. How are you? How close are you? What are you having? A girl, I said, and then he high-fived me. Girls are the best. I asked him for advice on raising girls, seeing as though he quite famously had three at the time. And he said, just be grateful that you've been given that gift because girls are amazing. His third daughter, Bianca, was about a year and a half old at the time, so I asked if he wanted more children. And he said that his wife, Vanessa, really wanted to try again for a boy, but was sort of jokingly concerned that it would be another girl. And I was like, four girls, are you joking? Like, what would you think? How would you feel? And without hesitation, he said, I would have five more girls if I could. I'm a girl dad. When it came to sports, he said that his oldest daughter was an accomplished volleyball player and that the youngest was a toddler, so TBD. But that middle one, he said, that middle one was a monster. She's a beast. She's better than I was at her age. She's got it. That middle one, of course, was Gigi. When I reflect on this tragedy and that half an hour that I spent with Kobe Bryant two years ago, I suppose that the only small source of comfort for me is knowing that he died doing what he loved the most, being a dad, being a girl dad.